Hello everyone, I missed you so much. Thank you for your support in the comments guys, and thank you Danny for replacing me. So let's move on to the episode. Pochettino substituted Messi and provoked an actual scandal. All the details are in our new release. Subscribe to know what will happen next in world football. Give a like to this video and write in the comments below how you rate Messi's recent performances at PSG. And while you're writing, we proceed to start things off. Let's get going! I wanted to join Barca but didn't expect such problems. I'm working hard and I don't regret that I came, Kuman said. For the first time since the 1961-62 campaign, Juventus had no win in four match days of Serie A. Joao Felix may be disqualified for four 12 games for insulting the referee in the match against Athletic. Barcelona plans three top deals for the summer of 2022. The Catalans want to be boosted by Holland, Dani Almo, and Pogba. Chelsea wants to thwart Juventus' offer to get Monaco midfielder Chouameni. Transfer of Ramos to PSG? It's a shame, but Alaba has come, and that is the beauty of football. See new people in Madrid, Casilla said. Ansu Fati will be able to play for Barcelona in about a week or 10 days, Kuman stated. Virgil van Dijk has made 100 appearances for Liverpool in the Premier League. Why isn't Puch playing? He needs to improve many aspects of the game, Kuman said. Favorite of the Premier League? I think Manchester City are the favorites, as they are the defending champions and still keep strengthening themselves, Fabinho thinks. Barcelona supporters were insulting Kuman. You spooch dumb, one of the Barcelona fans shouted. Juventus' squad got no win in four match days of Serie A and is currently 18th in the table having only two points. Messi has zero goal contributions in three appearances for PSG. Today we got to see a glimpse of all the obstacles that we will find in our way, Ronaldo wrote on his Instagram account after the match versus West Ham. Roma has lost a lot of tackles. It takes me a few hours to understand what happened, Mourinho said. Roma lost under Mourinho for the first time in the game versus Verona, 2-3. Before that, there were six victories in a row. Kane has zero goals in his first four Premier League appearances. This is his worst start since 2015. I was absolutely not happy with the first 45 minutes. But in a game like this, it's not only about skillful play, but about teamwork, Tuchel told. Holland caught up with Lewandowski in the Bundesliga scorers list. The forwards have seven goals each. Tottenham have lost no three in two Premier League fixtures in a row. Earlier on, there were three 1-0 victories after three match days. Holland scored in his seventh straight game. He has 68 goals in 67 appearances for Borussia. Manchester United had two stonewall penalties. Hopefully it won't be, Cristiano is never going to get a penalty. Solskjaer expressed his displeasure. De Gea saved the penalty kick in the Premier League for the first time in seven years. During this time, he conceded 21 of them. I can't see a team outside of the top four teams winning the Premier League for the next 10 to 15 years, Jamie Orr thinks. Ronaldo has scored in every game since returning to Man United, having four goals in three appearances. Azar is not at the level that we would like to see. It's not easy for him to play two matches in a row, Ancelotti shared. Barca lost 8-2 against Bayern having played with Messi, Griezmann and Suarez. The other day we played the game with Mengesa, Balde and Demir. We have to be realistic, Kuman noted. Jimmy Graves died. The England top scorer was 81 years old. Rest in peace. Rio Ferdinand sometimes talks about what he doesn't know much about. Ronaldo did not give instructions to the players, Solskjaer claimed. Conflict with Zidane? The Italians condemned me for this act. They were supposed to kiss the ground on which I walked, Materazzi said. Cavani doesn't intend to leave Manchester United, despite the transfer of Ronaldo. We see Sancho as a top forward for Man United for next 10 to 15 years. He's working hard and he will be good, Solskjaer stated. Kane's failed move to Man City? I thought he would switch, but I'm happy he stayed, Thomas Tuchel admitted. We are Barca and we will find a way to fight for every single title. I firmly believe it, Depay assured. Klopp never took losing well. Where things were not going his way, he got prickly, wrote Mark Klettenborg in his book Whistleblower. A number of fixtures in the top European leagues took place yesterday. The results are in front of you.
And now we are to dive into the main news of the issue. Let's start with a review of the recent Premier League games. Brighton beat Leicester 2-1 to move up to 4th place. Manchester United won the hardest battle over West Ham. It all started with the Hammers' goal. Ben Rahma succeeded in the 30th minute, but the hosts were happy not for a long time. Cristiano Ronaldo found the right moment to strike once again and equalized the score in the 35th minute. The Portuguese is in phenomenal shape at the start of the season. The victory for the Devils was brought by Jesse Lingard, who as a sign of respect to West Ham did not celebrate his accurate shot. We recall that Jesse spent the second half of the last season in the camp of the Hammers. The main event of the day was Tottenham vs Chelsea. Surprisingly enough, Tuchel's team eventually defeated the hosts 0-3. Thiago Silva, Kante and Rudiger secured the victory for the pensioners. Chelsea, Liverpool and Man United shared the top spot in the table. Next up is the Bundesliga. We are to highlight the third victory in a row for Borussia Dortmund. This time, the Hornets defeated Union Berlin 4-2. The main hero of the club, of course, was Erling Haaland. The Norwegian managed to score a brace. Borussia is in third place, one point behind Bayern. Meanwhile, Serie A has its own heroes and anti-heroes. The day turned out to be very exciting. We witnessed Mourinho's first defeat in the National League of Italy as Roma's manager. The Yellow and Reds unexpectedly lost to Verona 3-2. But still the centerpiece of the round was another failure of Juventus from Turin. Massimiliano Allegro's team again failed to get some points, sharing them with Milan 1-1. The guests responded to Morata's goal with an accurate shot by Rabic. Two points. Juventus has two points after four rounds. It was impossible to imagine. Fans of the Oledi, hold tight. The roller coaster keeps going. Moving on to La Liga. Real Sociedad in Sevilla had a 0-0 shutout, whilst Valencia almost beat Real Madrid. The hosts played excellently at the Mestalla and were winning until the 86th minute. Hugo Dura was the one to open the scoreline. However, Madrid managed to turn the game around in a matter of minutes. Vinicius perfectly finished after Benzema's assist for the first one, and then the same duo produced the winner, but with one difference. This time the Brazilian assisted and the French scored. Real Madrid continues to lead the table and the following question arises. Is Madrid the main favorite of the season in La Liga? And finally, let's move on to the main game of the whole day. Lionel Messi's debut at the Parc des Princes as a PSG player. Paris Saint-Germain hosted Lyon and the match turned out to be extremely tough. The first half ended in a goalless draw. All the main moments unfolded after the break. At first, the guests loudly declare themselves with Paqueta efforts. Though, PSG managed to respond already in the 66th minute. Neymar earned and converted a penalty. Why did Messi take the penalty? Leo probably gave it, since it was Ney who earned the take and he also needed his first goal of the current season. The winner was delivered by Mauro Icardi with Kylian Mbappe doing his job as an assistant. The most discussed episode of the match was the substitution of Lionel Messi. Yes, Maurizio Pochettino dared to replace PSG's stellar Nibi in the 76th minute. Hakimi entered the pitch instead. Messi's reaction was quite stormy. Lionel refused to shake the manager's hand. Besides, on the bench, Leo expressed his dissatisfaction in every possible way. His facial expressions are telling. After the final whistle, Pochettino explained his decision. I decided to replace Messi to avoid injury. We have important fixtures ahead and we want to protect him, claimed the head coach of PSG. Interestingly enough, football fans found the episode that made Pochettino make such a decision. Leo felt discomfort in his left knee and tried to revive it. Most fans were unhappy with Messi being subbed off. When did this happen to Messi? Was he ever substituted in Barcelona? Is Messi saved for important matches? The match against Lyon is the exact important match. Messi needs to send Pochettino back to his farm in Argentina. There's no place in the world better than home. And so on and so forth. Friends, how do you feel about Messi's performances for PSG? Are you impressed by Leo or his bad shape to blame? Let us know in the comments below. Guys, watch the new video on Inside Football and find out why PSG won't win the Champions League. You'd better click and give it a try. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.